Okay, so today's job, the Kaza Performance uh, Twin, 250 Twin. So what we have here is essentially a 250 parallel twin making the same sort of power as an Aprilia RS 250 but running 10 inch wheels. So essentially, it's doing f until 8,000 RPM. It's only doing like 15 horsepower, and then it just goes mental. And now you're looking at 76 horsepower, something yeah. like that up there, at 12.5, uh, running on till 13.5 maybe. Also can go more. Now we have um, these new exhausts from 2L Tech. So this one runs in the standard Lambretta layout, um, turns around on that side, belly there, comes back with um, support under the casing. The one for the far side, at the moment is sat there hanging out of the bike a little bit. Um, the reason for that is that there's just simply no space. So the chances are they will either have two exhausts going forwards and turning backwards with the mufflers here if they move the stand forward or alternatively they'll try to do a two into one system. So um, I don't think this with the low belly is uh, definitive because at the moment it's not too bad, it's rideable. Um, I haven't managed to scrape it today but I haven't been trying very hard because it's cold and damp still. Moment, it's a bit on off. So I need to be in the power to get past this car. What we've got here is um, two Motori 7 cart Grand Prix cylinders. Um, this is the uh, water pump and it's belt driven. And the flywheel turns anti clockwise on this engine. The point being, the reed valves that are here are straight into the crankcase. You want the, uh, the rotation of the crankshaft to try and help the flow of the uh, gas as it comes through the reed rather than if it was turning that way it would be opposing it. So at the moment there's only two VHST 28mm carbs on it. Um, this is an HPI ignition. So I'm fine, it's fine with the clutch and gears 
at the moment it's just a matter of learning where it's going to wheelie and where it's going to wheelie ain't necessarily um, throttle related, it's RPM related it's rideable if you if you take the time to learn it. I think it could be really dangerous if you used to just jump on it and just go flat out. Get it in the power and then just find a bit more throttle and it just jumps forward ridiculously fast. Right, so Mickey's let me have another go at this now today. The difference between now and before is that now it's got um, side panels on it and raw uh, floorboards on it so basically this is a complete bike demonstrating that you can fit the whole lot into a, um, a standard chassis the only modifications that you need obviously is somewhere to the air to run to the radiator they've also changed the ignition timing um, they've advanced it eight degrees it's cleaned it up a little bit um, still a bit spluttery at the bottom but um, once it's in the power it's a bit better I suppose this is the equivalent, the scooter equivalent of a Ferrari. It's really, really high end. The sound is a proper look at me. As an engineering piece, it's an absolute work of art. So much fun. And it's a lovely foggy day on this um, obviously uh, desolate racetrack that we've been given. Um, there's no... Uh, there's no traffic, um, you can't see that, that what is coming along, we're obviously on a private racetrack, um, that's the only place we're at, alright, okay.